What is up guys, it is Power Bang. Welcome back to another Clash of Clans video. Got an exciting one for you today. Continuing on with my theme of dragons for the week. You guys wanted to see dragons. Dang it, I'm gonna bring you dragons. Today we're focusing on Town Hall 10 versus Town Hall 10 and even Town Hall 11 towards the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. First and foremost today, big props to WHF2 getting a victory over Six Schlitzes in the CWL Invite League. That moves them to 2-0 undefeated so far, as are WHF uh, as well. So we'll take a look at both clans today, each of them having some dragon action to take a look at. We're going to look at Kukulana here taking on Maple Moose. Now what I want to do is pause this really quickly. Look at the army composition, look at the spells, and also look at the air defense placement within the base. First and foremost, you're going to realize there's a couple different styles of bases that you're going to look at for use of dragons. Now, first is the, uh, I don't know what you call it, the available air defenses, something that's very vulnerable, I guess you would say. Vulnerable air defenses here. Uh, you see them way out on the corner. Now, there are some cannons on the outside of the base to protect protect uh, direct pathing to the air defense, but there's uh, some stuff that you can do to take advantage of this. I'm gonna show you that in this raid in just a moment. But the idea being for one style of dragon raid is that you simply take out as many air defenses as possible uh, with very minimal troops. So we're gonna look at that style here and then clean up the rest of the base with dragons, rages, and then also balloons backing them up in almost like a wave of dragons, balloons in behind, and you just overpower the base due to the fact that it has no air D. So first and foremost, we've got the queen. She's going to come down up on this top left side. So giant to cover. That's going to buy her a little bit of time. And again, take note of all these little tricks. The great part about this raid is each corner has a different tactic being used uh, to kind of take out these air defenses. The first one is a giant covering a naked queen walk, essentially. She's going to step up and take out the air defense. Next up... You've got a haste spell going down, and then we've got balloons going in right here. It looks like there's four of them. Now, very quickly, the uh, cannon goes down, then the air defense goes down. Uh, let's pause it right there. Air defense down, and that is pretty much it for the defense on the upper left side of this base. Now, the queen's going to get some more walking in uh, there, take out some wizard towers. Really, really efficient there on the entry. Uh, and then down on the bottom, we're going to notice uh, this, this defense is going to have an entirely separate solution for it. Uh, so let's go ahead and kind of watch as this develops. So we don't quite get the Inferno Tower on top. The Queen's going to continue the charge. And check this out. Because of the balloons going in, we know that there's a baby dragon in the core. That's the only air targeting uh, troop in the clan castle. The Queen's able to take it out with her ability. Uh, take out the Wizard Tower and continue on through the base. So on the bottom, the King is coming in to do some uh, tanking. As well as taking out all of this stuff on the bottom of the base. Now, Kukulana really just exploits a weak air defense, uh, you know, an air defensive base here. And basically, Kukulana is going to go down the side there with the king. Now, watch what that does. That opens up direct pathing to the air defense now. That hog no longer has to go to the cannon. And pathing from the cannon to the air defense was destroyed. Uh, so that Hog Rider by itself is going to be able to take out the air defense. The only other thing in possible range uh, would have been the Wizard Tower, but it went to the front, so that's avoided, and it was being tanked by the King. Inferno Tower, not enough damage to take it out, so let's go ahead and take a look at what is left here and the order in which the dragons are uh, deployed. First off, I should mention, Haste Spell was the uh, the strategy used here for the fourth air defense. A few balloons directly target as well. Go in, take that out. Only three balloons that time because it was a straight shot to the air defense rather than stopping at the cannon first. So really efficient job. Now it's time to push their way through the base, and the goal here is to start on one side uh, with the dragons and kind of you want to kind of horseshoe it around where you're trying to have them end up which is all this really heavy air targeting stuff and then also pay attention to the fact that the enemy queen will lure those dragons directly to her so there it is she's gonna fire off some shots and then watch the dragons here they're gonna take out the skellies first and then zip all the way over here to the queen. There they go. And then some of them kind of go off to the right. Now the uh, balloons continue to make their way through the base, taking everything out. Pay attention to the spells that are left. We have quite a bit of base left, but we do have a heal spell. So 
The group that needs to stay up is that bottom right side. Uh, the middle is pretty much taken care of as long as the Tesla goes down here. And it looks like the one dragon will be able to take care of that. Uh, Rage Bell goes down in the core. Tesla down. Sweeper's going to go down. And at this point, it's just a matter of pushing through, uh, going around that L-shaped uh, defensive ring, going around the base. We've got the loons. We've got the drag still up. And there's the final Rage Spell. Loons uh, getting a lot of value from that rage. You can see them there getting two more defenses taken care of. And we've got the minions and the baby dragon on the edge of the ring and they're just going to go around the outside here. Now, dragons catch a little bit of that rage going into the final couple of air targeting defenses here, and we have full health dragons, guys. Uh, the multi-target Inferno really doesn't care um, about any uh, big health dragons. It's not going to do anything to them. So, nice work, Kugalana, getting the, uh, the three-star here. Dragons still in the sky. That is your first type of raid. Uh, with dragons on Town Hall 10s, and that is, is exploiting a weak base uh, when it comes to air defense, and that's exactly what was done here. So, wrapping up in WHF2, guys, 112, 107 was your final, uh, 32 to 29 on the three star count. Really dominant effort here by WHF2, looking really, really solid, guys. So, let's go ahead and uh, say goodbye to WHF2. Boom, we will leave the clan, and what do you know, we've got a clan invitation. Uh, to become part of WHF. So, what do we see for WHF? Voila! A victory as well. WHF taking down Emphatic Elite. Also in CWL Invite. We're sharing the league with WHF 2. And WHF has also moved to 2-0 in the league. And wouldn't you know it, there's some dragon attacks to show in this one as well. So, um... Let's actually, I just thought of a, uh, we have a raid. Brr, 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 brr. Let's go to Bada Bing Clan. Uh, we have one to show from Last War as well. I totally forgot about this. Let's go all the way down to number... Uh, let's go 22, I think it was. There we go. Let's show this one as well. And again, guys, this is the second type of dragon attack at Town Hall 10. There's actually three of them. Uh, this is exploiting a unbalanced air defense. It's not like... Uh, completely uncovered, uh, while it's not super protective of them either. Uh, but you see how there's two air defenses over on this side that are directly together. Uh, that can be exploited by some sort of hero charge. Now, on the other side, two air defenses directly together. That can be exploited by dragons and balloons. Um, if you send in a hound to tank uh, an area like that, the only thing that those, uh, those air defenses are going to target are... The hound or whatever you're protecting your dragons and loons with so uh keep that in mind we'll watch how uh hooky sets this one up so first and foremost hey we got a new youtube sub can't read his name but shout out to you my man thanks for joining the banger nation there we go so we've got a queen coming in on the top he waits till the mortar locks onto the queen and then drops the wizard there to do some funneling and the goal here is to make sure that the queen doesn't take off around the top of the base uh eventually when she takes down this town hall she's gonna start coming up and he does have four wall breakers, so there is a giant to attract the attention of the cannon. Now watch this, guys. So the queen comes up, takes out this cannon, and she's going to go down the wall just a little bit. The goal here is to get both of the air defenses. Now, because the Tesla popped up, he didn't have another wizard um, to really break off the funnel, but he does get a little bit lucky there, and the queen comes back, and she takes out the second AD. So... That is kind of the setup, guys. We noticed that on the right side of this base, there are an awful lot of air targeting defenses. Uh, you've got two air targeting expos, and you've got all kinds of archer towers over there, even Teslas outside the base, as well as the queen standing in the center. So the stacked part of the base is definitely the right side. Uh, so he's trying to get some extra value there by at least opening up the path into those defenses with the queen. Now he still has the king to use. What's he gonna do with that? He's gonna drop it on the top going to keep those buildings trimmed on the outside of the base. In addition to keeping them trimmed, he's also going to be attracting the fire of the uh, air targeting stuff on the outside there. And here we go. Dragons followed by balloons. Now, heal spell immediately after the Inferno Tower. You notice the second Inferno Tower is way down at the bottom. So it can't negate the healing being done on these dragons and loons and whatnot. So they easily cruise through the base. Now, Coming in from the top left, you see a whole bunch of air targeting uh, balloons coming out of the CC. 
Look at this. They're going to be coming right at uh, these buildings right here. The goal is to target this section with the air defenses, overwhelm that, and drop a rage spell to kind of take everything out. So he's flanking with his balloons and keeping his dragons towards the core, where they're not really going to get touched by many, uh, many air targeting defenses. So you can see the expo was the last thing uh, really kind of harassing them over there. It's got, you know, one dragon in its sights, but other than that, the balloons are just sweeping their way through, really kind of crushing the base right now. One hound is still up tanking as well. Looking really, really solid here from Hookie. And uh, here is the Hound. It explodes. The balloons go into the Inferno Tower. They are even going to take down the Inferno Tower here. One final uh, crash gets it taken care of. And we have Dragons now with a Rage spell to go after four more defenses. And, you know, four drags inside of a Rage. It has no chance. Hookie's going to take care of this. No problem at all. Gets through. And what you saw here was kind of a naked hero charge to get an air defense. Actually, two of them. And then he's got a very concentrated section of air defenses in the remainder of the base. He's able to overwhelm that with balloons. Um, even though the pathing wasn't necessarily certain, uh, if you throw enough balloons at a little quadrant of the base, uh, a couple air defenses are not going to be able to keep up you know, with like 14 balloons or something crazy. So great job here. You can see 13 balloons in this army composition, one of them being in the clan castle, uh, one lava hound, and then guys, rage spell is your best friend with dragons. Uh, the hay spell isn't really used uh, with regards to dragons. However, they do help out the balloons and help those balloons get to where they need to be in a short order. So uh, hay spells are great for balloons, but you don't want too many of them. Two is probably max. You can choose whether or not you want to bring a poison spell to take care of the uh, clan castle troops. Dragons, though, with the splash damage that they do and how hard they hit, poison spell isn't always needed for them. So an extra hay spell to help you out with your balloons can be advantageous that being said 111 107 whf over emphatic elite we are going to get into this war as well we've got some dragon action as well in this one so number 17 blaine being taken out by aussie tron here and this guys is the third type of dragon attack at town hall 10 this is your queen charge now queen charge queen walk what you're looking to do is instead of overwhelming the base with a ton of balloons i'm talking like 12 to 15 or 16 balloons you're going to get that same value with healers there instead of bringing balloons and taking out a huge chunk of the base and targeting defenses with those you want to use healers so the healers are going to go with the queen queen's going to start on the bottom on this base the goal ultimately being this guy right here and this guy right here. Those are two air defenses the queen's looking to target. And you can see there's a nice natural funnel break right there on this elixir storage. So as soon as he takes that out and this cannon, there's a nice little uh, space between those buildings as well. The queen's going to walk to her right and go all the way down the wall. And again, what is left over with regards to air uh, defense in this base? Again, it just so happens there's two right next to each other, and that's something that he can overwhelm with his dragons and his balloons. There's the queen. She's going to step up, get this cannon taken care of as well. Kaboom. And then now it's time to go to the right once the cannon is down. Thanks to the uh, little break in the uh, action just after the cannon, there's that empty tile where it you know has some empty space before it goes to the gold storage. So that was... Uh, the blessing that he needed to get his queen to go the right way. She's going to head up the wall here. Notice the army composition here. Five rage spells, guys. So one of those can go to the queen to help get her through. And he's got a giant still as well as four wall breakers. So you can tell he's going to be up to something funny here. Trying to get this queen access to even more than just the two air defenses that she ultimately will arrive at. Minions and Archers doing some funneling here. Taking out some easy buildings again. Trying to keep those dragons towards the core of the base. There it is, Mortar locked onto the Queen, Giant doing some tanking, it sends in a few wall breakers there and opens up the wall perfectly. And that will ultimately give the Queen access to all of this stuff from inside the wall, including the enemy Archer Queen. Uh, so it's looking pretty good. Now, how do you deploy the dragons? How, you know, does it matter? Um, ultimately, what he's trying to do is send those dragons to go clockwise around the base, starting them out at the Inferno Tower and the wizard tower and the uh you know the archer tower over here that's the goal wants them to go around drops the king the king's going to take out the tesla the archer tower go around to the town hall forcing those dragons to stay inner uh in, inside the base in the core and how do we know they're not going to fan out well the goal here is to get the queen to come in and start taking out all of these key buildings uh right here that will have the dragons go north 
and we can watch that develop right now. So there's the Rage spell. Uh, Queen is going to take out the Air Defense here in just a moment. One of the healers is lost, but that's okay. Queen's still doing a great job over there and still has her ability. So as you can see, the Dragon's going in, and look at this. Haste spell down. The Haste goes on the balloons that came out of the CC. They go in and take out a good number of things, and look at that. They even target the second... Wow, second air defense is down, and all of these dragons going right through this thin strip in the middle of the base. Queen still alive. Rage spell is on her. He does have one more rage spell left. One air sweeper is being a problem for him. That is okay. Dragons go ahead, take that out, and they're going to push their way through the... I mean, guys, this is smashed. Uh, I mean, absolutely crushed. Very, very nice raid here from Aussitron. He still has six dragons out of his seven in the sky right now. Queen's going to pop the ability, go around the outside there. Um, really, really good stuff here from Ozzy. So we won't go ahead and watch the rest of this cleanup. It is a, a sure thing. Absolutely dominated on that one. All about the setup, though, guys. He gets a great value from his queen walk and then is able to have those balloons come in out of the CC and immediately target both of the remaining air defenses. And then after the, the, the air defenses are down on a base like that, guys, if you have a bunch of rage spells and you can get your dragons tightly uh, grouped together, that means the defense can only really lock on to one of those dragons, maybe a second one at the same time, so they lose health much more slowly than if they're fanned out taking damage from all of the defenses in the base. Then it's all a matter of how quickly you can build momentum pushing through the base while taking as little damage as possible. That's why the funneling is so important on the dragons. Okay, moving on from 10v10, we're going to go look at 10v11. So we've got one player uh, today, Danny, that is uh, doing some dragon attacks, drag loon to be ex exact, on the uh, top bases here. So number one, we've got a drag loon here. Two lightning spells being used in this one, guys. So let's kind of explain the concept here. Uh, funneling is huge. You've got to start out with some funneling, uh, some free percentage if you can get it, and then also paying attention to where your air sweepers are, where the air defenses are, and how you can approach the base to deal with as few of those things as possible. Uh, so here's what the scout told us. Now, this air sweeper is a problem because he wants to approach the base from the bottom left side. Now, the bottom left side, we've got one air sweeper that's pointed completely away. That won't be an issue. The other one's going to be a problem. So he's brought two lightning spells, uh, both of them max at level 7, to take out the air sweeper in the core. Interesting play. Maybe he could use those spells elsewhere. But you only need to take out half of the base with dragons, so two lightning spells seems like it could be worth it to get rid of the air sweeper. Hacker Vines, welcome uh, to Banger Nation, man. Appreciate the new sub. Check this out, though, guys. So here it is. We're going to hit play. Notice if you come from the bottom left, count the air defenses that you've got to take out. We got one that's directly between the path uh, the dragons have to take to the town hall. And then you've got another one that can hit those dragons approaching. And same thing over here. So one of them he's going to take out with his heroes. The bottom right is designed to be taken out with the heroes. His dragons will take out the one on the bottom left, this guy right here. And then he will have some balloons go in uh, to help him take out this one on the left. Now this one is far enough away where the town hall will be secured before it's ever an issue. Uh, so that's kind of the scout. You just ignore it. So beautiful thing about Town Hall 11s and going for two stars is you don't necessarily have to address all of the air targeting defense or all of the air defenses in the base. You can just let it go and be like, well, I don't got to deal with that section anyways. So here we go. Queen going in. King going in. King taking some fire. Queen's going to pop her ability here. Take out the archer tower, get the cannon, and then step up. Take out the air defense, and that was the goal the entire time. So air defense is down, and it looks like the uh, the king finally going to make it through the wall here, and then ultimately is going to die, uh, but the Tesla is taken out. Now, we have uh, a problem. Funnel is created on one side. So you can see with the entry, the funnel was made, so this part of the all these buildings here were taken out. So you know if you drop dragons on this mortar down here, they're going to follow these buildings here, all the way up to the core. What you want to do when attacking uh, at Town Hall 11 is find the Town Hall and find like what it's going to take to path into it and make sure that your dragons land on those buildings. So you want to see the bomb tower here, this air sweeper there. And the cool thing is uh, because the eagle uh, is you know right there on the right, even if the, the dragon started to go around to the outside because the air sweeper was lightninged, 
they're going to funnel into the town hall at some point. So he's got to start the funnel uh, on the left side first here. He's got 13 balloons, 8 dragons to make it happen. He also has a CC. So notice how he starts the attack on the left side first. Now that's very, very important because those dragons need a little bit of time to work. And they're going to attract some of the fire... Um, you know, of those defenses early on, the balloons kind of sneak in behind and make things a little bit quicker. And the Lava Hound from the CC tanks while everything else is doing their job, working their way through. Baby Dragon in the CC is done. And then check this out. Look where those dragons end up, right where they needed to go to funnel into the core. Now, we've got one more Rage Spell here. That's going to hustle those balloons along to the last air defense that he needs to deal with. Now it's going to be a successful mission because uh, four dragons in a rage on the town hall. It goes down really, really quickly. So gets the eagle taken care of as well here. That's going to be 59% on this base. So a really, really solid raid here. Um, you know, creating the funnel, taking care of the air defenses that he needed to take care of, breaking off the funnel on the bottom side with the heroes and ultimately getting to the Town Hall for two stars. Let's look at one more uh, 10v11 raid. We will look at Danny once again doing work with this Dragloon strategy. And we're going to watch the second of top base this time. Again, uh, we want to break down early on, figure out where are the air defenses in the base and what side of the base do you want to approach from. You know, typically, you don't want to go into the face of a sweeper, so that eliminates the bottom left side as both sweepers are pointing that direction. That means you could come in from the top right, top right and eh, that seems a little bit ambitious because you've got one air defense two air defense three air defense down here and four air defense all of them will be in your path if you come from the top right now coming from the bottom right that's doable can come in from the top or from the bottom right he just has to funnel well and ultimately get to that town hall um, but one thing that uh you know is kind of a telling story here is this this clan castle is even with the town hall um, when it comes to the core, so he may lose some dragons to taking out the CC rather than the Town Hall. Whereas on the other side, the Town Hall actually is sticking out one tile further past the uh, Clan Castle. So that ultimately could have helped him make his decision uh, to come from the top left. So that's what you're going to see. So if you're coming from the top left, what air defenses do you need to address in order to get it, you know, there with as minimal loss as possible? First and foremost, this guy here... Uh, you can take out because that's going to shoot everything on the top right as you come into the core. Um, and then this one is the one that you have to tank for just a brief moment while the dragons get in there. So you're going to see the entry here focusing on taking out uh, the air defense on the top right. You're going to see a haste spell come down and again, direct pathing from the cannon to the air defense. So haste spell is going to be uh, working great. Uh, in addition to the fact that the air defense is going to go down, this also breaks the funnel, guys. Um, all of these trash buildings and defensive buildings that would otherwise lead those dragons around the ring, that's going to be destroyed. So you can see a whole bunch of balloons go in here. They get the cannon, they get to the air defense, and actually get some bombs off, and that is it. So it took quite a bit of firepower to get in there and get it done. Uh, but it was accomplished, and now you see the king following up, making sure that the buildings on the outside, especially these high hit point storages, are taken care of, and the, the dragons will actually, you know, move to the core, rather than kind of stray off to the side when it comes time for them. Now he still has his queen. What do you reckon he can do with the queen to provide some value here? Uh, he still has nine dragons, or, or uh, excuse me, nine balloons, and... Uh, Looks like nine dragons as well. So there they go. Fans him out. And what he does with the queen is take out an air targeting defense, which is huge. But more importantly than that, she breaks the funnel off on the left side, forcing the dragons to go inward. And because of that, there was more work to be done on this left side. The king helped out on the right. The balloons kind of broke out the funnel. And you can see over there, because of that gap, all of those balloons and those dragons head inwards. It's a huge, huge deal, guys, having those initial balloons go in and break off that funnel. And you can see over here, the hound was tanking the air defense. And by the time it blows up, it's too late. The air defense is down. And now we're right on the core. And look at that. All of those dragons go straight to the town hall. And while the eagle is locked onto them, it's not going to matter. They take out the town hall, get the job done, and uh, that is that. So great job there on the attack by Danny. Got what we needed to get, 50% plus with the town hall, guys. So it's definitely doable at town hall 10 with dragons. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode. I know it went a little bit long. One of my longer videos in quite some time. 
but there's a lot of little nuances to this strategy that I wanted to explain and then also show you guys three different examples kind of you, you know which bases to scout uh, for using these different strategies and then also you know like a naked queen charge and an actual you know full-fledged healer queen charge and then more of like a spammy drag loon uh, you know type of strategy so hopefully guys this has been helpful if you like the video liked it like the uh, like button and all that stuff for me and then uh, for those of you guys that are just subbing to the channel really really appreciate it selecting a subscriber of the day right meow so we have uh selected pepe velasco pepe velasco thank you so much for your support of the channel my friend um that is pretty sweet welcome to banger nation we had a couple more subs during this video so guys again welcome to banger nation glad you're here glad you're enjoying the content if you are not subscribed yet definitely consider doing so for more clash of clans content this is power bang i am signing out till next time guys take care we'll see you soon Oh, 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 oh,